Hey Michael with X-Force PC here to talk to you about our new total overkill system. We've done some of these systems in the past and essentially what we do is we put the very fastest graphics card and processor and the most RAM and biggest hard drive within reason, um, big case, big water cooler, and we kind of go all out on the on the system. And so that's what we've done here, and I just wanted to give you an overview of it. So first, starts off with the case, very high-end case from Fantex that is focused on being quiet and gives you some options along those lines. And what I mean by options is here on the front, you've got a flat front, and air can go in some side vents here, uh, all along the side here. On either side there's some intakes kind of like a hood scoop on a car but if you want better airflow and what I would recommend doing is you can take this uh, front cover off here it's held on with magnets and then this whole front is a mesh uh, to catch big particles of dust and then actually behind this I'm gonna take this whole thing off you have a finer filter which is held on with magnets everything's cooler with magnets right so we got a uh, you know 240 millimeter fans there and then the front just snaps back on so when you need to clean that um that filter you can so um yeah i would recommend leaving that off but if you're not going to be doing any gaming and you want things extra quiet you can always take this cover and put it right back on and again it's held with magnets and behind this little panel you have two USB 3's we have a USB type C port we have a resets button and then we have a headphone and a microphone jack so that pretty much takes care of the front now let's go take a, a look at the uh, side okay so now we're taking a look at the side and hopefully there's not too much glare on this thing um, so what we have here is we have a swinging door that's held on again with magnets. It's a pretty strong magnet. I have to get my fingers in there and kind of pry sort of hard. And, um, and then it swings quite freely. You can hear that thing snap. So there we go. There is the inside. And of course we have an RX Th oh, excuse me, RTX 3090 from NVIDIA. This has 24 gigs of VRAM. That's really the main reason you would want this card is for the VRAM. Um, technically, it's only about 10% faster than the RTX 3080, unless you go above the RTX 3080's 10 gig uh, onboard memory, and then this would be significantly faster because you wouldn't have to delve into system memory to... Uh, to render whatever graphics you're trying to render, X-Plane, Microsoft Flight Sim, whatever it is you're trying to do. Um, this is, so the, R the RTX 3090s will vary in their look and their number of fans and so forth. Right now, demand is so high, we, you pretty much have to take what you can get. And this is the one I was able to get most recently. Uh, it happens to be made by MSI, but that doesn't mean that's the one you're going to get. It takes three 8-pin power connectors. Some of the uh, less expensive 3090s use two 8-pin power connectors. And I would argue those are actually, I'd prefer to have that. Um, the th ones with three p uh, power connectors are, are clocked slightly higher, slightly higher, but they produce a significant amount more heat and they draw more power. And for me, I'd rather have the $1,500 one that's teeny weeny bit slower uh, than this. This one here is about $1,800. Excuse me. Yes, yes, that's right. Okay, I'm sorry. My scales are... With all the scalping going on, it, uh, my scale is off on pricing. So anyway, that's the RTX 3090. Um, we also have a triple fan radiator here. So there's three 120 millimeter fans blowing straight out of the top, up. And of course here the hose is running to the i9-10900K, which can hit as high as 5.3 gigahertz. You probably won't see that. That's in, you know, the ultra ideal scenario, but it'll be hovering around five gigahertz all day long. Um, we have a nice motherboard. Of course, we have 128 gigs of RAM, a ridiculous amount of RAM, 3600 speed RAM, which is very, very fast. 
Um, and we have a two terabyte NVMe SSD. NVMe just basically means it's faster. Um, if it was a SATA SSD, it would be maxed out at 500 megabytes per second, whereas this one hits to 2,000 to 3,000, depends on which one we use, but at minimum of 2,000 megabytes per second, very, very, very fast. We use a very powerful power supply, um, minimum 850 watts, uh, but we may end up going up to 1,000. Um, we're still kind of trying to decide on that. Uh, but for the ones that, for the cards that require three connectors, I think it's going to, we're probably going to push it up to a thousand watt power supply because total system draw can get up to close to 700 watts when you fully max the system out. And with an 800 watt power supply or an 850 watt power supply, you know, that might be pushing it a little bit. Um, you want to have a little bit of comfort there, a little bit of extra left over. So that is the inside, um, and I will close this back as it's held on with magnets, and we'll take a look at maybe the top. Now one thing is for certain, this thing is extremely heavy, and um, I'm balancing it here. So in the top we have this panel. Um, this panel, you would uh, not want to run the system with this panel on. If you do, you're choking the water cooler quite heavily. There's only a small little slit where air can leave. So this also is held on with magnets. There it is, doing a bit of a balancing act here. And then you can see the triple fans up in there, which are blowing out and up. And then if you uh, had that cover on, there's just this little thin slit in the back here for the air to get out. So the cover is really just, you know, for looks, uh, but it really needs to remain off so that the air can get out of the system. Of course, we have a power button here, and this lights up when the system is on to let you know that the power is on, and that pretty much covers the top of the system. I'm going to see if I can put this beast down, because it's kind of heavy. Okay, so now we're around here at the right side, which typically isn't... Um, there's not a whole lot to talk about on most systems. It's generally just a flat side like this is. But you might have seen this little piece of fabric dangling out here earlier. You can use that and pull this side open. This has uh, is held with magnets as well. And uh, this is where all the kind of ugly wiring gets run. Uh, I'll turn that a little bit. Um, you can see there's a spot here to put three SATA SSDs. I don't know that you would ever really do that. Um, M.2 is the more modern way to go, but you can see all the, the wiring is back here and you can get access to the power supply. And uh, again, held with uh, magnets. And if you wanted to tuck this thing in, you could, but if you want to be able to open this up, you just kind of leave it out so you can grab onto it if you need to. Last but I guess not least, uh, we have the back of the computer here. Um, most of these 3090s are going to be like the previous generation, they're going to have three display ports and an HDMI. You could see some variants there, um, you know, with these partners that make these cards, MSI, ASUS, Gigabyte, uh, PNY, there's many of them. They may decide to provide a different layout, but it, the, the standard layout is three display ports and an HDMI. Um, the, this um, generation of card still supports four displays. Uh, even if the card were to have five outputs, four concurrent displays can be shown at any given time. Um, of course, we have the power supply down here. I mentioned the video card. Um, these are the ports on the motherboard. You know, pretty standard stuff. You got USB 3.2 back here, multiple USB ports, and we got some USB 2.0s up there. We got a 140 millimeter fan, which is a little larger than standard. Usually those are 120 in the back. And that is pretty much it. I mean, if you needed to look closer at your water cooler, you can undo these two thumb screws here and here, and you can slide this whole top panel off to take a look at it. So there you go, there's just a, an overview of the um, total overkill system. It is total overkill. We don't necessarily recommend this system. <laughs> Sometimes you want something, you don't need something, and that's kind of what this is. Nobody needs 
this total overkill system uh, unless you're doing something really crazy, but some people might just want it. And so that's why it exists.